Okay, look at me and see someone who does not feel like doing yoga. Come to a cross again. And take your hands onto your knees and inhale and open your heart. Back, exhale. Forward, inhale up. And exhale down. Do that a few times. It's like you're doing cat cows, but you're doing way up there, way at the top of your heart, around your collarbone, opening to the sky, and then, I don't know what he's word crunching, but kind of crunching back down. And then stay up, stay in your open heart position, and just breathe for a little bit. Take your hands to your heart. Inhale your arms over your head. Exhale, hands to your heart. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Inhale, arms up. Exhale to your heart. This is supposed to ground heart energy. Inhale, arms up. Exhale to your heart. Inhale, I'm out. And this time we're going to exhale down. Pick a side. I'm going to call that left. And look, if you're really lucky... There's a huge tree behind you that has a weird old vine on it that you can grab and pull yourself further in. If you don't happen to have that vine behind you, note that the, the twist, that's what we're using the knee for. The knee is kind of pulling us a little deeper into the twist. The spine is really long. Take your hand, your back hand, and watch it go across the sky and cross your arms and come into a cross-legged forward bend. Gonna be here for a minute. I'm at, a, at this old cool tree at a bend in the stream. You can hear the stream probably. And you're being with your breath. And then come on up and wrap your arms around each other. And put your thumbs on your forehead and just breathe like that. For a little bit. The best thing when you don't feel like yo doing yoga. Is to be like, I don't feel like doing yoga. And then you just sort of show up with your body. And that's it. Inhale your arms up. They're all wrapped around each other. You're inhaling them up and exhaling down. And I'm going to do a little neck stretch here. When I inhale up, I'm tipping my head forward. And when I exhale down, I'm picking my head up. It's a shoulder neck thing. Do it again. Inhaling up. Exhaling down. Yeah. One more time. Exhale down. Release your arms out to the sides. Um, it's an okay time to be really beautiful. You don't want to do yoga. I don't want to do yoga. We don't want to do yoga, but we're so pretty. It's so beautiful. Rolling your shoulder blades back and down the back. Finding this openness. Taking your, let's call that your left arm forward. Bring it up. Bend it behind you. Grab your left elbow with your right hand and breathe into your shoulder. And this is really interesting. You're kind of in your shoulder. You're kind of in your neck. You can press the back of your head against your forearm to get a little more in your neck if you want to. You know what you're feeling here. Whatever it is, make sure it's good. And 
then grab the opposite elbow with the opposite hand and exhale to your left and inhale up and exhale to your right and oh, this is nice do this a few times inhale up exhale to the left you're getting into some upper ribs here some release between the upper sides of the upper ribs mm -hmm. keep on doing that you're taking your arms out and we're hanging out here for a little bit finding this openness in the heart finding that beauty And then exhale to the left. So we're doing a side bend, but look, now it's going down lower. It's not on in your upper ribs anymore. It's sort of like in your middle ribs. You're exhaling to one side and then inhaling up. And then exhaling to the other side. Yeah. And we're just, we don't want to be here, right? So we're just giving this like 25% effort. Just showing up and just kind of doing it. Which is plenty as it turns out. Yeah. Okay, and then we're gonna do some cat cows. So come to your tabletop. That's the one that looks like a tabletop. And inhale, open your heart, drop your belly. Melt your heart forward, exhale, belly button to the spine, spine to the ceiling. These are cat cows. Inhale, cow lift. Exhale, cat tuck. Inhale, cow lift. Exhale, cat tuck. Inhale, cow lift. Exhale, cat tuck. And then come to tabletop and inhale your right arm up and roll into your right wrist and then thread that hand underneath your left. Oh, and snuggle in, man. There's more that we could do here. This pose gets a little bit more gymnastic, but we're not gonna do it. We're snuggling in like this, finding this twist in the middle back. It's really nice and just everything you need. Side of your head is on the ground. That's pretty cool. All right, pick up that hand again and step your whatever leg that is, maybe right leg back, find in kickstand. And then I discovered that I was facing the wrong direction. So what you're gonna do is fold your pose up, taking your foot to the inside of the thigh. I think that's your, uh, I don't know, your right foot inside your left thigh. I just turned I just turned around so I'm facing the camera. And then come down over that left leg. You're in Parvrita Janusrasasana. You've got your left leg out at, uh, I guess it would be two o'clock. And breathe here. And then we're gonna move it, inhale, that top arm behind you and pick up your hips. This is an inhale. And then exhale back down to Parabrita Janusrasasana. Do it again, inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. And come to a cross again. And at this point, I think that you're in your non dominant cross you know like when you cross your legs normally they wouldn't be like this you're in your non come to the non-dominant one and then we're gonna do some of those heart openers inhaling opening your heart and exhaling kind of rolling your shoulders forward and inhale up but you're rolling the shoulders forward with control as opposed to slumping we're not slumping we're rolling forward and then we're rolling them back And then take your left ear towards your left shoulder 
And exhale forward. Now we're doing neck rolls. Inhale, right ear to right shoulder. And exhale forward. Yes, you know what you're doing. Do that a few times. Inhaling one way. Exhaling forward. Inhaling the other way. Keep on going. When you're ready, take your head back to center and pick it up gently. Take your hands to your heart. You're just breathing. But at this point in the practice, it feels a little different, right? Feels a little better. Inhale your arms over your head. Exhale to your heart. Inhale them up. Exhale to your heart. Inhale up. Exhale to your heart. Inhale up. Exhale to your heart. Inhale up. And then exhale, we're gonna go to the right. Simple twist. It is such an elegant, elegant pose. It's all about the geometry of the body. There are really, you know, we're made up of curves, but there are a lot of interesting angles to the body. You're getting your spine long and really kind of dig it in there. If you have a tree behind you that you can grab, go ahead. I'm just kidding about that part. Nobody generally has a tree that they can grab, but you can, um, you can find your way deeper into this pose. All right, take your back hand and watch it go across the sky and put it down on your opposite knee. And here we go into this cross-legged forward bend. At this bend in the river, I mean, at this bend in the stream, in front of this Lord of the Rings kind of tree, in this bamboo forest. It's a nice place to be. Come on up, wrap your arms around each other. Take that leaf off your head. Inhale your arms up and tip your head forward. And exhale down, pick your head up. Now we're doing that shoulder neck stretch thing. Inhale them up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Release your arms out to the sides. Find this beautiful thing again. Yeah, yeah, your heart's pretty open here from the top, the bottom, and both sides. Mm. 
I'm just breathe in. It's kind of a balance too. Finding your balance over your hips. And then exhale to the right. Change the order here a little bit. Don't worry about it. That other thing's coming. And then inhale up and exhale to your left. So this is the one, this is the version where you're down near your middle back, kind of like your upper waist. That's where we're, we're bending here. You're going to inhale up and exhale to the other side and do that a few times. And this is when I remembered. I was like, oh yeah, that thing. So take your right arm forward and bend it behind you and grab your right elbow with your left hand, breathing into the shoulder here. And then grab your opposite elbow and exhale to your left. Inhale up, exhale to your right. Inhale up, do this back and forth with your breath, and it's that same side bend. We just moved it up a few inches, now you can feel it in your kind of your upper ribs, maybe, or wherever you feel it. All right, come down from that. We're gonna do cat cows. Inhale to a cow lift. Exhale, cat tuck. Inhale, cow lift. Exhale, cat tuck. Inhale, cow lift. Exhale, cat tuck. Inhale, cow lift. Exhale, cat tuck. All right, inhale your uh, whatever arm that is, the other arm that didn't go last time, maybe left. And then exhale it down. Unsettle in, baby. This is it. We're twisting. We're twisting, and that's all we're gonna do. And you're finding the side of your face on the ground. And you're finding an interesting way to twist that middle back here. And then bring that arm back up. And then step your whatever leg, left leg, over, maybe right, I don't know, until you're in kickstand and fold it up. You should be doing the opposite side now. Make sure you are taking that whatever foot and tucking it into the other leg and lean down over it. My not knowing right or left is not a function of internet yoga. It is just me. I have no idea which is which. I'm not faking it at all. I literally have no idea. Luckily, you do. I'm breathing here. And then inhale that top arm behind you and pick up your hips. Love to do this. And exhale down. And you're breathing really slowly and moving slowly with your breath. After a while, your resistance just sort of drops. Keep on doing this. Exhaling down. For myself, I guess I'm out midway through this practice. Inhale up. I was like... I love yoga. Why would I want to do anything but this? It's pretty good. 
Inhale up. Exhale down. Yeah, coming into cross again. And then open your heart again. Grab onto your knees and open your heart and do those like forward and back heart opening things, a few of them. Yeah. When you open your shoulders backwards, that's an inhale. And then when you exhale, bring your shoulders forward. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Okay, so we're gonna do basking pose. I love this pose. So you're putting your hands behind you and you're finding a place where you can lean into your hands and really prop open your heart. I'm holding my hands at kind of a strange angle because I have that tree directly behind me. Don't worry about me. You're taking your hands behind you and you're using your arms like tent poles to open up your heart and prop it open. Okay, find a nice spot. Often I tell my students in this pose to feel the edges of your lungs. All right, guess what time it is. It's Shavasana time. Do any last thing you need to do and then lay your body down. We're going to do a long Shavasana. What could be better? Pretty much nothing. I'm going to turn up the sound of this stream for you. You can listen to the stream.
roll your wrists and ankles and your feet and whatever and stretch your body and then exhale and roll onto one side and stay there fetal position We didn't want to do yoga, and then we did, and now we feel better. Or I do, anyway. Alright, come on up to seated. And take your hands to your forehead. And breathe into your sinuses and, you know, imagine that you can feel the air outlining all of the edges of your sinuses all the way into the back of your head. Honoring every cell in your body, let that be a physical thing that you can feel. Take your hands to your heart, breathe into your lungs. I dedicate my practice to you. I didn't want to do it and I did it anyway. I dedicate that to you. You didn't want to do it and you did it anyway. Good job. Namaste.